Hello guys, today we are going to be showing you how to change your tire and what you have to do is just dismantle the tire with the bolts and then after there are some screws you have to unscrew and you are going to pull the part off the motor. There, yours, the only one will go off so make sure you have the right one. Then you're going to have your inner tube and then you're going to have your tire as the last. And then the motor is going to be on the last. How to put on the tire. You need to flip the motor over. Put it on, say, two planks of wood. And you just need to press the tire down. Put it in a circle formation. Yes. And then you just push it on. Don't worry. It might take a little effort. But it's definitely worth it. That is how you do it. There's no other way to do it. Um, you want to put your inner tube after you put your tire. And then after, you are going to want to stuff your inner tube circle-wise. But make sure it's not too cramped so when it inflates, it doesn't um, fill the entire tire. You just want it to be circled around how you fit it. And once you are going to fit in the inner tube, make sure that the, um, the air pump is on the right side. And that is on the side that is still connected. And you're going to now put it through the hole. And you are going to put the tire back over the motor. And it's just going to clamp on. And you want to put the screws in the right where the other screws are on the other side. And you just want to put in the screws and tighten them. But make sure that they're across from each other so that it's evenly balanced. And it's not more pressured on the other and less pressured on one side. And that is how you change the... Um, your tire but make sure to take out your disc brake there are just a bunch of screws six screws actually and then you want to take off the bolts that hold the tire together and in screw now we're putting the disc brake back on and you got to make sure it is going the right way so you might want to compare it with the front wheel and you want to put in the um, six bolts just one thing you sure do is don't tighten them all the way yet just make sure they're on and do them across from each other so it has the most pull and it's not even on one side and uneven on the other you're just going to do that with all six of your bolts. Once you're finishing tightening all of the screws, we're going to start putting our tire back on. And for this, you're going to need our first washer. This one does not have a hook, and it's going to be the first thing we put on. You're going to put it on top. You're going to put it until it um, doesn't go and it's going to stop when it needs to. You're going to slide in. And one important thing you should do is make it even on both sides. Um, this way, the tire will be one side too much pressure and one side too little. You want to make sure that they're even. So we suggest that you put one and then put the other. You can use a wrench or a screwdriver to put it in equally you can use it to get it in more deeper but the next washer you are going to need is a washer and it has a hook it goes on the outside and it's going to fit in perfectly with the tiny hole and it's going to make sure that the tire is secure the next thing you're going to put on it is a bolt and you're going to be doing the same process on the other side. Just, you want to hand tighten it at first on both sides. And then you're going to finish it out with the wrench. You just want to do a few times on each side. 
and this will make sure that it's even.